Hi guys and welcome to part 18 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we learned how to get the unread books from the database. On this part we are going to design the home page so we see the results. To do so we are going to use different material design components and as we have already mentioned we need to import them first. For that let us go to app.module.ts file and make the necessary changes. We are going to use a list of components throughout the application, so I'm going to import all of them and provide a list for you on the description section. So just go in here where it's material design modules, here we have imported already the button module, we are going to import other modules as well. So I have imported the checkbox module, the card module, the grid list, etc. They all belong to Angular slash material. So we have imported the modules. To use them, we need to configure them. So for that, go to ng module in here. Inside the imports array, configure all the modules. So we save the changes now. After you save the changes, you are going to see that the application is being compiled. After that, just go to home.component.html file. And in here just remove the button that we have imported on the previous parts. To show the title of the section of the books we are going to use a toolbar component. So for that just write md toolbar and close the tags. We are going to first show the top rated books. So just write my top rated books. Save the changes and just go back to your browser to check that this component is actually working. So here we are going to see that my top rated books toolbar is being shown. To show the books we are going to use a grid list. So for that just write grid list and the grid list is going to have three columns. You assign this property by writing calls is equal to three and inside this grid list we are going to display a grid tile. So for that just write grid tile and this is where we are going to show all the details for a book. So we are going to repeat the grid tile because we want to display each book as a separate tile. For that let's write in here ng4 let book of favorite books. This favorite books value from here comes from the component, so from the home.component.ts and it's this one in here. Inside the tile we are going to use a card, so for that let's just write md card and the card is going to have a header where on the header we are going to display just the book title, so from the book just get the title of the book and then we are going to have the actions and the actions are going to be displayed at the bottom of the tile, so just write in here and the actions and add the buttons. Each tile is going to have its own image, so for that between the md card header and the md card actions just show the image. We are going to show the image by using the book dot image url and as an alt value we are going to have book dot title. Now save the changes and go back to your browser. You are going to see that our top rated books are being shown. At the bottom we see two buttons the book details and the edit book. If you go back to our component so home.component.html we see that we have actually implemented a router link for each of these actions. We see that when the user is going to press the edit book button he's going to be redirected to the edit book component. And when the user is going to press the book details button, he's going to be redirected to the book component. The same way we could show the books that we have not read yet, so for that just add an additional toolbar, which is books I have not read yet. And the same way let us just add the grid list, which contains a lot of grid tiles. So just I'm just going to paste the code, Save the changes and go back to your browser. Here we are going to see that we have on the first section we have the top rated books. On the section below we have the books that we have not read yet. So guys this is all for this part. On the next part we are going to start implementing the details page for a book. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.